Tech on FM at 99.9 HD2. All right, free agency is underway. It officially is on Wednesday, but it started. And the Falcons are signing Kirk Cousins to a four-year, $180 million contract. Part of that's a $50 million signing bonus. Another monster payday for him. Gets $100 million guaranteed, 90 in 2024 and 25, plus another 10 in 2026 at the age of 35. Rudy, um, is... Does he deserve that kind of money in your in your mind? Um, you know, I mean, I I think that Kirk Cousins gets a bad rap for some things, but if you go back and just look at the stats mm-hmm. and you look at the data over the last four to five seasons, Kirk Cousins has been performing statistically at a top five, top four level yeah. in the NFL, and that's just what the market is you know, right now for an NFL quarterback. Baker Mayfield was on the brink of, you know, career disaster just a couple of years ago. And now all of a sudden he's right back in the mix as a hundred million dollar guy. Um, I think at this point, Kirk Cousins is closing in at something almost like $260 million in guaranteed money or something like that. He's made so far in the NFL. I believe Russell Wilson is closing in on $300 million. He's made. Um, it's a, uh, fairly lucrative business. Do you think that uh, the torn Achilles that he, that happened at the end of the season kind of got pushed aside because he had not been on an injury port I saw like 10 years prior to that? The guy's always been healthy. Oh, I mean, I think that's going to play into, you know, his durability factor. I think he's, they're going to, I mean, these teams are going to look at, at everything and he's always been outside of this season a, a fairly durable guy he's a super tough guy you know so i think those things do factor in but i also think i mean you know back in your day you know dan when they had leather helmets in the single bar <laughs> uh, if you tore your achilles yeah. or you tore your acl that was like a career ender sure. you were done mm-hmm. you had a big you had a big zipper on your knee and you were you were absolutely done career ending injury Now, because these doctors and surgeons and, you know, the medical world is so great, I mean, you know, people aren't even concerned. They're not even concerned anymore about, you know, how bad these injuries are over the long term. It's it's, it's really, really wild to watch. Yeah, I think the other thing, too, is we were talking earlier about with Kirk Cousins. I think Arthur Blank, he wants to win now. As the owner of the the Falcons, he's saying, hey, look, bring a guy in. we got to give him the godfather off or whatever it is, overpay. Just give him the money. We want to get him in here. We got a good nucleus. We don't want to wait around for somebody else to develop. Uh, I kind of got the feeling when an owner, whether he got involved or not, but when you make that kind of offer, an experienced guy, to your point, very durable, has had good numbers, that he can build this bad boy for the next three or four years and not have to wait for somebody to develop. The owner definitely got involved. Anytime you're writing checks like that, the owner is 100,000% involved you know, in that decision-making process. I would also imagine that, you know, while Raheem Morris was interviewing for that job, it was promised to him that they were going to spend some money in free agency and they were going to go find a quarterback. One of the very first comments that Raheem made at his introductory press conference was if if the Falcons had better quarterback play over the last couple of years, he for sure wouldn't be sitting in that chair. So, I mean, we all know that, you know, the NFL is a quarterback-driven league. These guys are going to get paid. The owners are heavily involved in these decisions, in the decision-making process. And, you know, when you got a guy like Arthur Blank, who I believe is, is 80 years old or close to it, he probably feels like this is, you know, getting into the last run for him. He wants to give his guys, you know, a chance. Ready, on, on, on a totally, you know, go ahead. Okay, I was just going to say, Rudy, this is uh, uh, when you talk about the money that's being tossed around. The Cardinals signed a starting defensive back, a cornerback, signed a starting defensive lineman. Will they look for a quality wide receiver? Before you came on, we talked a little bit about T. Higgins not being happy getting tagged by the Cincinnati Bengals and has asked for a trade. Would they dip their toe into that, or do you see them just kind of standing pat? 
too much capital. It's going to be too much capital to get a guy like Justin Jefferson or to get a guy like T. Higgins because not only are you going to have to come up with a huge contract extension for the player, but you're also going to have to come off of a lot of picks uh, in, in, in the trade market to get a guy like that. But I was going to say before, when um, right when you were going to ask me the question was, is the guy I feel bad for is Justin Jefferson, right? Like, Scott's been searching for a big contract. He's had great years, and now all of a sudden there's a chance he could be sitting in NFL Siberia with no quarterback to throw him the football. Um, and so just, you know, it just shows you how quickly things change um, in the NFL. But I also think, you know, what you see is these, these owners and these GMs banking on the idea that there's going to be more and more and more money to spend. I, I mean, everybody saw the salary cap go up an extra 30 million or so than kind of what everybody anticipated. But I can only imagine what the salary cap is going to be over the next couple of years when these media deals get redone. We all see what's happening with streaming, you know, games being played on Netflix and Hulu and, you know, all of this different stuff. I think they played the Super Bowl this year like that, or I forget, maybe it's one of the championship games. I forget where it was on a streaming service, but, you know, when they redo these media deals, three, and that revenue comes in, it's going to contribute to the salary cap going even higher and higher. And you're going to start to see these quarterbacks get paid even more money than what they already are now. You're essentially seeing like $55, $60 million a year in guaranteed money for these quarterbacks. I mean, if you break that down and do the math, I mean, if you're playing, you know, an 18 schedule i'm not a magic i'm not a math magician but it comes out to like i don't know like, what is it three million bucks a game or something like that sure. so Rudy, you look at the pittsburgh steelers situation uh looks like russell wilson will be signing on wednesday looks like he and Pickett. is it is it russ wilson's t- job to lose is it true competition uh, how are you reading the pittsburgh steelers situation at quarterback right now this is a perfect situation Two. for the pittsburgh steelers because in my in my viewpoint, can he pick it? He just isn't the answer. They've given him enough time to see he can be a solid backup this year for them in case something happens with Russ. But at the end of the day, they're paying him a league minimum, you know, amount of money, which is unreal for a starting quarterback. And the, the Broncos are paying the rest of it. I think last year's version version of Russell Wilson wasn't that bad as far as what everybody made it seem. He actually, you know, at times played really, really well last year. The year before, yeah, no doubt he struggled. He played he played bad. Um, but this is a, a really, really friendly, team-friendly deal for the Pittsburgh Steelers. It's basically the same situation that Baker Mayfield in, was in last year. I think you're going to see the Pittsburgh Steelers with Arthur Smith as their new coordinator, they're going to use, he was in Tennessee as well, but they're going to use Najee Harris as a, you know, version of Derrick Henry. They're going to run the football and they're going to play action pass with guys like George Pickens, et cetera, et cetera. And I think this is, One minute. you know, a really, 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 really good opportunity for both sides, um, both the Steelers and Russell Wilson. I think, Ultimately, when you sign Russell Wilson like this, I think they, I think the goal or the plan or the idea is that Russell's probably going to be your starter. But if he goes out there and just plays awful, and Kenny Pickett is unreal and in 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 preseason, then you know maybe something can change. But look, the coaching staff can manipulate stuff like that too, as far as play time play calls, all these things. I, I honestly believe the plan is to have Russell Wilson be your starting quarterback. Rudy, as always, man, great stuff, man. Appreciate it. Have yourself a great week. Thanks for jumping on. All right, guys. Take care. Rudy Carpenter, bringing it in as he always does. Today's brought to you by All City Towing. If you're looking for a career that pays great with incredible benefits, All City Towing continues to look for some new people to join their team. All types of different jobs are available to you on their website. Just go to allcitytowing.com and search careers. All City Towing, statewide service, and they answer your call 24-7. Allcitytowing.com. We'll continue. We're out here at CAC Sportsbook inside Casino, Arizona. A lot of free agency signings.